The Disaster Vulnerability Project, DVRP, aims to reduce disaster susceptibility and increase long-term climate resilience in St. Lucia by addressing the multifaceted risk associated with hydrometeorological events. The DVRP also finances the reconstruction activities that are to be implemented to rectify the damages caused by Hurricane Tomas and the December 2013 floods. The Sir Arthur Lewis Community College's Victor Archer Building, built in the 1800s and serving the Division of Arts, Science and General Studies, was badly damaged. In the mid-2000s, we had a, an earthquake that damaged the building. And in 2010, we also suffered further damage with Hurricane Tomas. And um, that just meant that we were not able to use the top floor after Hurricane Tomas. It came in here in 2016. It was already in a deplorable condition. We found that when it rained, that water will come through the roof, penetrate the upper floor, and then come and disturb the classes. So, in effect, when it was raining, we could not have used this floor. In 2017, the building was decommissioned thus replacing and inconveniencing hundreds of students and faculty. The dean's office had to be moved. The admin offices who support the dean and serve the students also had to be moved. The building holds six large classrooms, many of them holding as many as 60 students. That also had to be moved. So it meant that the college had to find space to ensure that the administrative um, functions of the unit continued and that the students had a classroom to do the learning in. So it, it, it made life very difficult for us. The Sir Arthur Lewis Community College made an official request for funding in May 2013, and this request was supported by central government. Designs and estimates were invited by local independent contractors. By mid-2016, the bidding process commenced and the final design was completed in March 2018. On June 1, 2020, contracts were signed to rehabilitate the almost 200-year-old two-story Victor Archer building at a cost of 2.9 million EC dollars. Through a competitive bidding process, the contract was awarded to Mega Construction Inc. We have to install new ceilings. Um, the flooring is bad, so we have to redo those. Um, we have to give it a facelift in terms of the aesthetics. We want to make sure that the building maintains the same appearance as the surrounding buildings. The, the, the construction involves uh, steel beams along with uh, timber floor joists, and on top you have a wooden floor. Okay? Now if you look closely, right, if you look closely, you could see that there's some deterioration and possibly due to wet rot or termite infestation somewhere along the lines. So hence the reason why the, this floor will have to be properly assessed. When complete, the Victor Archer building will consist of six large classrooms on the top floor, inclusive of a language lab and administrative office. Whereas the ground floor will comprise three spacious classrooms, a small kitchen and a departmental archive. This project is expected to be complete by June 2021.